You know, um, I was chairwoman of Article 19, which is the freedom of expression um, campaigning organisation in the UK. And the 19th article of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights talks about freedom of expression, freedom of speech, but also the free flow of information. And that's where I think that the road of the internet has been absolutely critical because it means that there is a flow of information and social media. And we've seen the way that social media has been used in all sorts of ways to really help bring about uh, greater freedoms for people. You know, we've seen in Egypt the role of um, Facebook, and um, you know, in Iran, uh, the protests there that took place against the government um, a few years ago. So I think that social media is absolutely vital in um, disseminating, um, you know, freedoms and also bringing a variety of different opinions to the fore. But the concerns around social media and also possibly the way we consume information now on the internet, there's a threat to to traditional media forms. Um, as well. I see it not as a threat but as a compliment to what the traditional mainstream media does. It's opened up more sources of information so that even if something happens spontaneously in a distant part of the world you can bet your bottom dollar that somebody's got a mic the mobile phone where they've taken pictures. You know, I remember a few years ago in Burma where there were demonstrations by Buddhist monks there and you know there was some violence and we saw footage of that come through. Um, uh, there is a great deal of um, video footage out there on the internet. The role of, a, a, of an organisation, a traditional media like the BBC, is to try to verify what is accurate and what isn't. And that's a vital role that we play because there's a great deal of propaganda also being waged at the moment, you know, um, atrocities purportedly being um, committed by, you know, various parties in Middle Eastern conflicts in Iraq or Syria. And we have to verify the veracity of such footage by, you know, through a series of tests, you know, checking what the weather's like, in this particular uh, you know, incident, the, the, the accent of, of the people involved. So you can say, well, actually, we're not sure that they are Iraqi government forces because the weather's not right for north of Baghdad or the accent is not Iraqi Arabic, it's a different kind of Arabic. So, you know, that just shows you the kind of... Um, tests that we run at the BBC. We have teams of people looking at this kind of material all the time, assessing it. So you need a trusted organisation to interpret and analyse the you know, vast amounts of material that are out there on social media and on the internet.